Hi guys and welcome to another Skyrim mod showcase where we're going to take a look at the balloon mod with Havoc Physics. The mod adds a flyable balloon to the game with a slight mini quest. To get things started you'll have to head to the Skyforge where you'll be able to craft all the necessary parts. Most of them require Dwemer items so I suggest you head off to your nearest ruin and collect the necessary materials. The main piece of kit that you're going to need is the ancient engine which will spawn in the balloon and give you several options for it. To use the engine all you need to do is drop it from your inventory and you'll see above it when it lands that there is a flashing red symbol for low battery. So what we need to do is we need to charge it and to do that you can use sparks. You need to use the spell until the module starts transforming and then you can leave it to do its thing. And when that's all finished, you'll end up with this nice looking control panel. Now this whole thing is controlled by the four silver balls that you see floating. Now the top right one will start the mini quest for you, which we'll go over in a couple of minutes. And the next one will generate the balloon. The one next to that, the bottom left, that will teleport you into the balloon basket. And the one at the top left will remove the module and you can pick it back up and put it back in your inventory. So first things first, we need to get a mini quest started because there's a couple of ingredients that we still need. So all you need to do is select the top right silver ball and we'll talk to a very ominous sounding person. The language is in Russian so there is subtitles at the top left corner for everybody else. And this will generate a nice floating list of things that you need to collect. So once you have all the ingredients you need to activate the beacon. To do this go to the modules base and just simply activate and this will put all the ingredients into the machine. So now that everything is pretty much sorted we can activate the lower right hand silver ball and this will create the hot air balloon ready for our travels across Skyrim. There are a couple of more things to talk about such as the controls of the balloon and we'll get onto those straight away. First things first, you need to read your guide of balloon control, which you should have picked up during your mini quest. If you didn't um, and you have trouble with this, just drop me a message and I'll tell you how to add it via the console. Reading the guide will give you several spells um, in which you'll need to control the balloon with. And then if you give it a quick read, you can see some of the basic controls and movements within the guide also. The controls are pretty rudimental. I basically use just two spells, one to stop the balloon and this one to set the balloon's direction. You also now need to select the bottom left silver ball and this will teleport you into the basket for the hot air balloon. So all you need to do to get the balloon moving is equip the set direction spell and simply just start casting and the balloon will start moving. Now the longer that you hold this spell on the faster you will go and there is a maximum speed. Sometimes if you reach this maximum speed too fast or you do it too violently you can fall out of the basket. So just be warned of how vigorously you use this spell. There are also several controls inside of the balloon which you'll see floating just above your head. One is in the icon of a dragon's head, one is a anvil with a hammer and another one activates the light switch and I believe it's a moon or a sun depending if the light's on or off. If you activate the anvil and hammer while you're in the hot air balloon this will give it some stability. There's also an anchor above your head which will anchor the balloon in a certain position and location and pretty much bring things to a stop. It's an alternative to using the stop spell. Also if you go into third person you will see an arrow just before the balloon which will be flashing and pointing you to which direction your balloon is actually going. So just remember these key things while you're controlling the balloon. Like I said the controls are a little rudimentary and you will have to get used to them before you can get really to any place around Skyrim. 
So there are a couple of things to note before I leave you. One is that there's an actable force field at the bottom of the basket, which also turn into a nice compass. I definitely recommend having this on if you don't want to easily fall out of the basket. Another thing is that you can make as many ancient engines as you want and easily activate and create hot air balloons. So there we have it, there's the Balloon with Havoc Physics. I definitely recommend trying this one out for yourself in game, it is a lot of fun once you get going. And once you do master the controls you can get across Skyrim pretty easily. And it's really nice to visit all the landmarks in the balloon itself. It's really quite a nice thing to experience, especially with the nice glass basket. And you can see below you as you travel over people, it's pretty damn cool. So if you like the look of this mod, please do head over to the mod authors page to check it out there. And remember to endorse if you use. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.